The physical model of light has sparked debates among the most celebrated physicists, from Newton and Huygens in the 17th century to Maxwell and Einstein. The wave-like description of light can explain phenomena such as diffraction and interference, while the particle model, where light is described as a flux of discrete energy packets called photons, can explain, for example, the photoelectric effect or the blackbody radiation. Which is the ultimate nature of a photon? Is it a wave packet or an actual particle? Let's see an experiment that investigates this problem. An interferometer is an optical system made of two beam splitters, which are 50-50 semi-reflecting mirrors, two mirrors and two photodetectors. If a photon enters the system with a second beam splitter that closes the interferometer, the experiment shows that only detector 1 clicks, while detections never appear in detector 2. It is as if the photon behaved like a classical wave, following both paths of the interferometer at the same time. At the second beam splitter, the two waves are recombined and they interfere in a way that depends on the sum of their shapes, zero wave in detector 2 and amplified wave in detector 1. Now instead, a photon enters an interferometer which is not closed by the second beam splitter. In this configuration, the experiment shows that both detectors can click with the same 50-50 probability. We also know which path the photon takes. It can take the upper path of the apparatus and produce a click in detector 1, or it can take the bottom path and produce a click in detector 2. So, without the recombining beam splitter, the photon seems to behave like a classical particle that cannot be divided into two, and that follows a specific path inside the interferometer. In a classical interpretation of these two experiments, we might naively explain the results by saying that the photon somehow knew in advance the configuration of the interferometer and adapted its behaviour accordingly. In order to rule out this weird interpretation, John Wheeler proposed his delayed choice Gedanken experiment, in which the choice of the configuration is made after the photon enters the interferometer. In the delayed choice version of the experiment, the photon enters the interferometer with the beam splitter in. But then, while the photon is still propagating along both paths, the beam splitter is removed. In this case, the classical interpretation fails in a dramatic way. If indeed the photon decided before him to behave like a wave, the observer's action would change the decision the photon took in its past, leading to a strange inversion of the normal order of time. The same time paradox also emerges if the beam splitter is out at the beginning and the observer decides to insert it while the photon is inside the interferometer. To summarise, if the configuration choice is delayed, a purely classical interpretation of the process, in which the photon decides its character at the first beam splitter, would imply a seeming violation of causality. How can this problem be solved? The only way forward is to use quantum mechanics and exploit the wave-particle duality. In the quantum interpretation, the photon is a delocalized probability wave whose amplitude describes the probability of finding the photon in a certain position. The particle-like character emerges only at the detection and the photon becomes localized in a point. After entering the interferometer, the wave function is a superposition of two states corresponding to the photon taking both paths at the same time. The photon state evolves in a different way if the beam splitter is in or out, but independently of the time at which the observer chooses the configuration. Thus, in the quantum description, the photon maintains its dual wave-particle nature until the very end of the experiment, when it is detected. In our experiment, we extended Wheeler's delayed choice idea to the space scenario and demonstrated the need of quantum wave-particle duality at the unprecedented distance of low Earth orbit satellite with an interferometer whose arms extend for thousands of kilometers in space. We exploited the recent advancements of quantum optics in the context of space quantum communications and paved the way for satellite implementation of other fundamental tests of physics as well as the application of quantum mechanics in a completely new scenario where gravitational effects might indeed come into play.